Hi, today I am going to discuss about performance parameters and single phase, full phase inverter. Last class we have seen single phase half bridge inverter with RL load. We have seen that in case of single phase half bridge inverter, if we want to make our inverter independent of load then a uh, anti parallel diode is to be connected across the switch today we will discuss some more features of single phase inverters so let's start performance parameters of inverters you know the quality of the output voltage and output current these parameters are very important harmonic factor it is used to measure the contribution of individual harmonics in the output voltage. That means how much amount of third harmonic, fifth harmonic or any other harmonic are present across the output voltage we can measure using this expression. And it is harmonic factor is equal to B0N by B01. B0N is RMS output voltage of nth harmonic. And V01 is the RMS output voltage of fundamental harmonic for n greater than 1. Then total harmonic distortion. It is used to measure the closeness in shape between the waveform and its fundamental component. As we know that square wave output voltage consists of number of sinusoidal components. Now the fundamental component is purely sinusoidal Vm sin theta. Then how we will measure that our output voltage waveform is close to sinusoidal fundamental waveform? We will use this total harmonic distortion to measure that one. PSD is equal to 1 by V01 square root of n is equal to 2 to infinity V0n square. So our output voltage or current quality is better if TSD is less. And to reduce the TSD, we have to eliminate harmonics from the output voltage or current waveform. Then distortion factor. It indicates the amount of harmonic distortion that remains in a particular waveform after filtering. We know that harmonics can be filtered using different types of filters. If order of the filter is increased, then THD will reduce. At the same time, we can say the remaining harmonics across the output voltage is reduced and the formula of distortion factor is 1 by V01 square root of n is equal to 2 to infinity V0 by n square whole square. So if we are applying our output voltage across a filter then some of the harmonics are removed. If the order of the filter suppose third order filter we are going to use then then the remaining harmonic across the output voltage will be reduced. But at the same time, if we are increasing the order of the filter, then number of passive components, inductor or capacitor, will be increased. For second order system, it is one inductor, one capacitor. For third order system, there will be two capacitor, one inductor, or two inductor, one capacitor. So the complexity of the circuit as well as cost increases. So there are other better methods to reduce the harmonics we will discuss as the class proceeds. Distortion factor of individual harmonic also you can find B0n by B01n square and for n greater than 1. Then lowest order harmonic. The LOH is the harmonic component which frequency is closest to the fundamental one and its amplitude is greater than or equal to 3% of B01. If the harmonic magnitude is less than 3%, we can assume our output waveform is close to fundamental one. 
so the harmonic content greater than 3% is to be removed from the output as per requirement so all these factors are very important to decide the quality of output waveform let's discuss single page full bridge inverter just like single page half bridge inverter here also a dc source is connected across different switches voltage considered as resistive but here four switches are there 1 2 3 and 4 and at a time switch 1 and 2 will operate at the time 3 and 4 will be off and when 3 and 4 is operated then 1 and 2 will be off let's see the equivalent circuit here you see when 3 and 4 is on the current will flow in this direction and the output voltage will get positive now when switch 1 and 2 is on then the current will flow in the opposite direction through this load resistance so the polarity will be reverse positive negative so both positive and negative output voltage we are getting for the load resistance so a square wave output voltage we will get across this one so let's see the waveform here you can see this is our positive output voltage and here it is negative output voltage when we are getting positive output voltage when switch number 1 and 2 is on then we are getting positive output voltage let's take this one as the reference when 1 and 2 is on positive output voltage is getting and when 1 and 2 is off at that time 3 and 4 is on then we will see this negative output voltage let's see so when 1 and 2 is on this we are taking as the reference positive output voltage so current direction is like this and when 3 and 4 is on current is opposite so the polarity is reverse so negative output voltage we are getting now let's compare this one with the single phase half bridge inverter in single phase half bridge inverter there we have seen that our output voltage was half of the input voltage the output voltage is V supply voltage but in half bridge inverter we have seen that output voltage was V by 2 and in negative wave cycle here we are getting minus V and there we have got minus V by 2 so the output voltage is double at the same time let's see here when switch 1 and 2 is on at that time 3 and 4 is off then what is the voltage across the switch let's see so this voltage is VDC and this voltage is B so this voltage is B and this is also B so here it is positive here it is negative now when the switch is on this is sorted so this voltage will be across the switch so the voltage across the switch is V equal to input voltage but in case of half bridge inverter we have said voltage across the switch was twice of the input voltage so it is one of the advantage of this single phase full bridge inverter that output voltage is twice of the half bridge inverter and the voltage across the switch is half of that half bridge inverter so it is preferred over single phase half bridge inverter and the name is single phase because single phase output voltage here we are getting and the bridge inverter because this switches are working as a bridge to allow current in both direction this direction as well as this direction that's why it is single page full bridge inverter let's analyze the output voltage we have found so rms output voltage is square root of 2 by t t is our complete time period t is equal to complete time period or 
time for one complete cycle this plus this so from here to here is our complete time period t and in half of the time period we are getting this voltage and next half we are getting this voltage so to find rms output voltage root mean square so a square of this one will become the same value a square of this one is equal to a square of this one so we will take only the half cycle 0 to t by 2 that's why in the expression here it is written a square root of 1 by t multiplied by 2 and it is 0 to t by 2 half of the time period into v square dt in half bridge in butter we have seen here it was v by 2 square but here it is v square because the output voltage is v during positive up cycle as well as negative up cycle the magnitude is v so ultimately we will get rms output voltage equal to v so we can say if our dc voltage is v then rms output voltage will also become v now let's see the instantaneous output voltage in detail we have analyzed single phase half bridge inverter and found that vt is equal to n is equal to 135 alpha 2v by n pi sin n omega t here it will be 4v because the output voltage is twice compared to half bridge inverter so simply you can write here vt is equal to n is equal to 135 to infinity because even harmonics are not present in the output voltage here also the similar type of waveform we are getting as we have got in half bridge so even harmonics here also it will be absent a0 equal to 0 a n that means cosine component will also be equal to 0 only you will get b n that is sine component so based on this instantaneous output voltage we can find instantaneous load current if the load is inductive so i am not going in detail about those things and uh, directly i am writing here it is equal to vt by impedance of the circuit or impedance of the load sine of n omega t minus theta n where theta is because of the lagging current because we know that inductive current lacks the supply voltage by certain angle so that angle is here theta n for n harmonic and it is equal to 10 inverse n omega l by r omega is equal to 2 pi f with the switching frequency and this one root under r square plus n omega l square is equal to impedance of the load for n is equal to 1 it will be fundamental component So fundamental output power we can find as b01 into y01 into cos of theta1. So cos of theta1 is your power factor. So real power or active power or useful power is b01 i01 cos theta1. We are interested. And the remaining harmonic powers are dissipated across the load. So we will try to remove those harmonics. So today I have discussed about some of the important parameters like harmonic factor total harmonic distortion, distortion factor, then lowest order harmonics present in the output voltage. Then we have discussed about working principle of single phase full bridge inverter and compared with single phase half bridge inverter. At last we have found out the RMS output voltage, instantaneous output voltage, instantaneous load current and fundamental output power. Next class, I will discuss three phase voltage source inverter. Thank you.